Alright, hi guys, <clears throat> it's me, it's Alex, your boy again, and I'm here with another tutorial. And here we are in Adobe Photoshop. This is Adobe Photoshop Camera Raw Filter. So I'm gonna be showing you guys today how to turn an image from this into this using smart filters and some cool frequency separation effects to create smooth skin tones. So without further ado, let's get into it. So here we are in Photoshop, right here in Photoshop. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna press Ctrl or Command J. Gonna put it into this is selected control command J to make a copy of the background. So now first thing we're gonna do is we're, we're gonna create that uh, frequency separation frequency separation to make the skin tones look smooth. So what on this topmost layer we're gonna name this um double click on the name we're gonna name this LT or you just go to FQ frequency separation or in, anything you want. We're gonna click right here, we're gonna go on to vivid light. So we're gonna press control or command I to invert the image. There we go. Now look at this. It, it, it looks terrible, right? Now we're going on this layer. We're going to go to um, filter, um, Gaussian blur. Boom. We're going to increase this until we just about see the textures. So I think about 20. We go 30. 30 is good. Okay, let's go. 28, 28. 28. Boom. We're going to click that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to desaturate this. Right? We're going to merge these two layers right here. We're going to put shift on our keyboard and merge these two layers. Right click. Merge layers, boom. Gonna come to this layer for image adjustments, even saturation for control U. Gonna desaturate that, boom. Now, as this saturated, we're gonna press Control Command I again, boom, invert it. We're gonna change this to overlay, overlay, boom, Continue that overlay. Now, you see that we're gonna come back to Gauge and Blow, we're gonna press Gauge and Blow again. Now, we're gonna make this about three. Three, as you can see, the skin is pretty much smooth at that point. We'll try this to subscribe. I think about two is good. I'm gonna click OK. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a layer mask. So clicking this button right here. Is a layer mask button. We add layer mask. We're gonna click that, and on the layer mask, we're gonna invert it. See that original image right there. We're gonna click our brush tool, pressing B on our keyboard. We're gonna zoom in using Alt and our mouse. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna increase the size, pressing the open bracket keys on your keyboard. Increase that, and we'll see what's gonna happen. You need to make sure your foreground is white on black. Sorry, it's white on black. Yeah, we're gonna paint. You see that it changes, it makes it a little bit more smoother. You see that we're gonna paint, just paint over the places where you want to be smooth. You're gonna, you're gonna increase and increase the brush size with the pressing the three brackets on your keyboard. I don't know what they're called. You can just keep doing that. You can decrease or increase the flow, depending on you. I'm gonna decrease it. The flow is just basically how it blends in with the entire image. So like it's not the opacity, the opacity is different. The opacity is the how visible it is. The flow is how it blends in with the colors. Drag this down a little bit. Let's bring that to about 75. See that? Look at the before, look at the after, before, after. So now let's go a little bit further, right? So now this is what we want. But now I want these to be more blue than what they are right now. So we're gonna do we're gonna create um what they call um uh, uh, solid color. You can create a solid color. Oh no, better still hue and saturation. We're gonna just make this blue. We're gonna make this two two two. Right, we're gonna increase the saturation to blue. Boom. Now that's blue. We're gonna do the same. We're gonna press Control Command I to invert. With our brush tool selected using B, we're gonna paint this. Make sure that your your, your foreground is um white and your background is black. We're gonna just Paint inside this glasses right here. You see that? Yeah, paint inside. Don't matter if it's spills. If one, of the, if you make a mistake and you go like crazy like this, put we'll X on your keyboard and you can clean that out. You clean that out. So X, X changes the foreground and background. You see X, black to white, white to black. So there. Remember, Photoshop. 
white means visible black means visible so when it's black you can then paint something on top of it if if i was to just infer this back to white see that and it's on white i'm painting the colors back into it see that that's just it that's pretty short for you pretty cool pretty simple to use So there we go. So now I'm just gonna add a little bit of effect, some more effect I like to have in an image. We're gonna just come to human saturation, same thing. This is it for another video. I'm not gonna show you guys how I did this, but like we have been doing all this crazy effects. This is what we're gonna have as the final image. Thing. So that's it for me, you guys. So like if you want to learn more tutorials on how to do some crazy effects like this on Photoshop and Lightroom or Premiere Pro or After Effects, just subscribe to the channel, stay tuned, hit the bell notification so you don't miss this video and next launch the video. So I'll be seeing you guys next one and uh, <laughs> peace.